yeah, back out. Again, this time we're in a college valley, Cheviot. And we're just looking at the devastation caused. All this, when we did that walk with up the Braden Crags, which was November, wasn't it? I'm not sure. Yeah, it was, this is all a massive forest. Look at it, it's gone. I wonder if that was the storm or that was planned. I think it was the storm myself, like. Anyway, we're gonna go up. We're gonna try and get to the border. I'm just feeling so knackered at the minute, like. Look at this. This is how masterpieces are made. See that? Now I get out the way for continuity. I can't be bothered with beer all my like. You stupid, but not now. It's for it's for people who don't drink. Can't be rolls for people who don't drink beer. <laughs> uh, so anyway, we'll crack on. I haven't got much to say. Right, so we've come all the way along the valley for um, three miles. Three miles along that valley, like just on the road. It's hard on the feet. Mount Hooley's that way. More devastation over there. Loads of trees down. But we're heading up here now. We've took the we've took to the hill. Three miles, and then you hit this hill, and that's a killer. But we're going for it. Oh, I've got a new video light, so hopefully get some 10 footage later. Not be too mad. Tampo's still on dry January. He's not drinking. Unbelievable. It's just me making a fool of myself. <laughs> right, I'm gonna put these away because I need my poles. Stairs. Lost all my hell fitness like. We've walked from bloody miles, four mile. Come up this quad track. We're aiming to get up there. That's the shill. We're gonna go to the end and then up there. Because that's steeper than it looks from here. So we haven't got far to go. It was meant to be dead foggy and cloudy. Looks alright. Up to now. <sighs> Long walks these through the Javiot. The trudges, man. It's harsh terrain. There's no paths apart from these tracks. Even then sometimes you've got to get off into the into the wild heather. So it is hard going. It's good though, because you never see anybody. I'm gonna get over this bog of terror. Muddy track of doom. Oh. Peach bogs. You know peat bogs. Works in the chocolate factory. It's vast, isn't it? Well, at last we've made it. It was a hell of a haul up that last bit. Just came off the uh, came off the marked path, just straight up the front of it. Just follow the map. It was just above our heads on the map. But the, the path's going all the way around it. It's senseless. Is there any bit here? He's filming. I'm filming again. He does it on purpose, you know. He tries to outshine me. So, we're up amongst the rocks, sheltering out the wind. The wind's wild over there. It's wild over here, to be fair. But look at this, it's got it up. I'm going to put the two guys on it. Solid as an rock. Give it a, give it a shake. You know, when, it, when it proper camper sees any tent, the first thing they do is rattle it, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's solid, that league. Yeah, good. It's better than it was last week. Just got to get inside, it's got a couple of guy lines there just as backups. 
But you can get you can get an extra how many? You can get six on it. Five. No, five. The door doesn't have one. No. Alright. Alright, it's good. Means over there, I'm just gonna throw it up. Oh look the weather's coming in. The cloud. Alright, it's flying there. I'm glad these rocks are here like shelter. We'll be getting blasted. So we'll get set up. I'll get set up. This battery's gonna die. And um that's it really. We'll come back. I finally got set up and changed the battery. Um watch this as a new video light. That's it, I'll get it on there again. That's it. You don't get you don't get the shape of the camera because it's level with it. So I've got me 1100 I've only brought this summer mat because it's not really called insulated mat um, jet boil I've got my frying pan because I'm going to have a, a steak it's all in there MSR stove I'll have to turn around there's the stash juice foresight location triple IPA it's something like 12% so I'll be um, falling on Tampo's TP later oh it's Tompo again sorry Tompo there's any Scottish contingent today kind of denim northern oh, monk man goes on salt tram and uh, kind of faith there we go right it's going to pester Tompo Oh, got to stand up without killing myself. Wow, this light's amazing. Pitch black out here, by the way. This is without the light. That's without the light. There he is. Aye, aye. Gino de Tampo. How do you gun? How do I gun? How's it? How's it? How are you keeping? <laughs> how's them hangings? <laughs> What your day is, How's the bacon, did you say? Aye, what? Yeah, you saw some coffee and some tea. Not tea, drinking tea, tea, tea to eat tea. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's like a rain slanting, you know what I mean? Not really. Big song. I've got that. Fueled by Firepot. I've got that. It's vegan. Which one? Vegan Orzo Bolognaz. Yeah, and you know what I did? Stuck in a price over the instructions, so I'm, I can't read the instructions. You fill it up there, um Level 4. Level 42. Uh, these big TP got a footprint tonight so I can get in. Once we're all settled. Hey, this is mad this light. Look how bright it is. Look how bright the See. There's a song there somewhere in there. With the light, look. Look uh, No light. And that's the light. Have oh, you got the tin mug in there for tin mug adventures? No, let's look at the stars man. See how we shine. Oh. He wasn't paying attention. He wasn't paying any attention to me, burning light. Anyway, here we are at the crags. The crags of death. I'm gonna be cooking here, like. I'm gonna come here and cook my tea here. Cause it's nice and sheltered and there's gonna be no splashes from the steak all over my lovely tent. Sacrilege, people are cooking steak inside the tent, like. Yeah. It's stupid people cooking steak inside the tent. Cooking steak? Oh, it makes a right mess. Splashes. What you're seeing here is the cloud coming over. We're getting it enveloped. Oh, aye. <laughs> aye, again. Oh, right. Not enveloped again. Ugh. This what? enveloped by the cloud, what does that bring on your tent? Bloody. Does that it makes it wet, doesn't it? Oh, I'm freezing. I'm gonna sit and watch him. I'm not hungry at the minute. I'll do that. I'm gonna give it about half an hour. All right, folks. It's tea time. And we'll have got a massive stack. Hold on, I'm gonna knock that. That's a bit too bright, that light. Right. It's better. Big sirloin steak. Let's get a bit of heat in this pan. Oh, it warms your hands up as well. How you? How was your tea? Horrible. Never ever buy um, <laughs> fire pot, vegan, whatever it was, whatever it was. Just, just never do it. Just don't buy fire pot. No, no. They're bloody awful. Fire pots aren't the best. They're not like. 
the worst of the, the worst of the, the whole lot, like. Yeah. I've got a can of Fiat. I think this light might be too bright, like. I've got a can of there. Uh, Blue Dog. Blue Dog. What's this? Brew Dog. Alcohol free. Punk AF. Aye. Alcohol free. Yeah, we're not talking about that. Right, so. We're going to talk about. Copy this. Nice steak, yeah. I don't want to touch it with my hands because it's contaminated. No, oh, the pan's not even hot enough. Didn't sizzle. Damn. Can't even lump in it. <laughs> no, I've got from Morrison's up there. I'll tell you the reason I'm doing the steak, right? You get serious for a minute. It's because a lot of people might have heard of a lad called Dave's Wild Camping. And I think he was one of the pioneers of this sort of camping. Like going out, filming it, cooking your steak up, a few beers and generally just having a good laugh, you know? And his early videos as far as I'm concerned, were brilliant. Like, they inspired me to get out and film it. And um, I'm going back about eight or nine years here. And I think he inspired a lot of people. Just forget about the stuff that happened in the last two years with all the anti-COVID and all that. I mean, that, that's, that's by the by. Concentrate on the camping that he did and all the, the absolute joy some of them videos, him and the Muss, Kilbernicus. They were a right laugh. And the poor lad lost his life last Saturday. He passed away in hospital last Saturday. Complications with his lungs and uh, a lot of things. I don't know the full story, so I'm not going to speculate. So we're going to cook the steak, raise a steak, and drink a beer to Dave's Wild Company. If you didn't like him, it's because you didn't meet him. I was really dubious at first about meeting him. And then when I did meet him, it was like I'd known him all my life. And he was just totally different to the character in the videos. He was just the nicest bloke, like. I did a couple of camps with him, me and Rob, and we even went on a camp just me and him. We just got on so well. I was really, really upset about last week. We heard all the... Everybody was saying about how he'd passed away, died in hospital. Couldn't believe it. Unbelievable. So, this one's for you, Dave. A big steak in the pan. Just how you like it. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put a, a link in my description. It's a Just Giving page. I don't normally do this. And you don't have to contribute. Like I say, it wasn't everybody's cup of tea, but he was, I think he was a Marmite person, isn't he? Marmite person. You either like him or you don't like him. It's, no, his, his early videos. What? Well, that's what I'm concentrating on now. I'm not going back. To, I'm not going to talk about the later stuff because that. Yeah, it's just personal opinions and all that. But you know. But his early videos, I think, inspired so many people. They all used to say in the comments that they did. So I'm going to put this link on this Just Given page and it's to raise funds for his funeral so they can give him a good send off his family um, they haven't really got the funds to pay for a big funeral and Dave, he had no job and I think, I'm sure he's had to sell his camper van I don't know, I don't know what happened to his van like. so the poor lad had an out, you know so if everybody was to give a pound onto that Just Given link a pound They've raised quite a bit of money, like. And that's run by Darren Coombs, who's going to give a, the final total. I think they're up to 400 odd quid now. Darren's going to give the the money to Dave's uh, brother to put towards the funeral. So just to give him a good send off, you know. And then they're going to take his ashes and scatter them over all the different hills that he went on. So that's that. 
so I'm not going to waffle on too much but you know if you knew him if you met him he was just a so different person in real life than he was on the videos totally different he was funny man it's a funny block and it's sad but it's life isn't it life comes and goes I think he was only 52 you know right I'm gonna stop waffling on now so don't forget if you want to donate the link's in the description if you don't it's fair enough it's, it's up to you so here we are it's too bright now Mushroom. Like a nice peppercorn, peppercorn sauce to go in. But there you are, my little tribute to Dave's Wild Camping. Pioneer of the camping videos. One of them. Happy Christmas. Anybody who watches this video gives a pound. I normally get about 2,500 views. That would be amazing. I'll thank each and every one of you. I'm eating this. Here we go. The finished article. So you've got the nice sirloin, portobello mushrooms, none of this chestnut nonsense, mini portobello mushrooms, and um, peppercorn sauce. And it is beautiful. My peppercorn sauce is lovely. So I'm gonna have it up, and I've got me 15 pound salt. It's like triggers broom the salt. I've only ever I've only ever topped up the salt twice and then put some new pepper in once. Apart from that, it's the same one. Triggers broom. Oh, if you don't know what triggers broom is, the ice. The gases are like iced up. <laughs> it's not winter gas, is it? Oh dear. Standing up is hard work when you've been squatting down like that. Yeah, the clouds coming over. Night's turning into nonsense. I'm not going to be able to get any stars that are out. Right, I'm going to have this. Well, it's tent time. And there. Uh, it's chilly, isn't it? We're on the millet. We're on the millet. We've got a box of millet. <laughs> Bombay mix. Oh, really cold. And we're just sitting here chilling out. Literally. We can't get the internet. We can't get the music on. The only reason we want the music is uh, the internet is because Craig Charles is on. We can't get it. It was on, but it's gone off. I don't know how that happens, it's on one minute and then not the next, it doesn't mm. make sense. Alright, so, how's your night been gone? Good. So far? Mm. What do you think of the walk up? Mm. Easy. Oh, I was dying. Yeah. It wasn't too bad. It was steep and one for oh, I was, I was dying. My ankle's sore, right? Here. If it's not one thing, it's the other, isn't it, with me? My ankle's really sore there. So it started hurting halfway down the hill there and I, oh god, that's why I slowed down. Tamper was off, I couldn't keep up. Oh my god. Oh, it's so bright. Right, I'm in. Oh, it's late. It's about 10. Is it now? Got a few beers like um wind is horrendous picked up Tampa was tense doing alright that um it's good that tent hex peak he's got a really taut taut and I'm in the Zalu It's moving about but I can't neighbor has it Poles aren't flexing diamonds are steady it's just it's just the residual wind blowing uh, in or about a bit. But that's to be expected. So, that's it. Good night. Had a good laugh. Had a good chat in the tent. Just 
talking rubbish, usual rubbish. And so we'll go to bed now. So don't forget, right, that just given page. Just remember, just remember where your wild camping inspiration came from. I just feel so sad. Just feel so sad about everything, like, you know what I mean? It's a really, really big shock. Just a massive shock. It just shows you, doesn't it? Life is very short. Right, we'll see you in the morning for a hidey high compass. See what that brings. See if there's anything. There's normally now, is there? Oh, tossing and turning. Just the weather. them like and oh, wind. Well I was here in a gripping dip there, look at that. Condensation. No. That's what you want. Plenty of ventilation though, isn't it? Aye. Aye, there's all about the views. So we're off anyway. The battery's died on my GoPro again. The cold's just killed it. It's minus three in the wind chill. That's why we're all gloved up. It's freezing. 25 mile an hour gusts sheltered by these I would hate to be around there. God knows what's sitting around there. That's it. Tom, we're just getting his last pick. Any famous last words? Yeah. What? What do you little pick for Oh, the litter pick. What are you gonna do like? Just pick litter. What type of litter? Any kind of litter. Any what do you love left? Any litter in particular to play along with the joke? That orange peel has got it. Orange peel? Orange peel. Surely you're taking the pith. No, I'm not. Have it. <laughs> Have it. Taking the pith. 
Right, they see bags of rubbish up there. You can tidy a little wombo. Right, we'll see you on the next one. There's no interest in going back. We're just walking, we're walking down the Pennine Way into the Clag. And it's time is 9 o'clock exactly Monday.